Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Code Actual, aka Actual, and today we're going to be starting a Bedrock Edition Minecraft server, not Java. So this means that your Windows 10 Edition, your Xbox, your Nintendo Switch, your mobile, and hopefully someone can test this out with PS4, because PS4 is now integrating itself into the Bedrock ecosystem. So this means that the device that I listed, and hopefully the PS4, is able to play on the... Um, windows server which we're going to be starting up here bedrock edition so we are also going to be doing a ubuntu server on a separate video but we're going to be focusing on windows today so what we want to do is go to this link and everything will be in the description and such as port forwarding especially if you want people to play on your server who's outside of your network so port forwarding is a must um, but links will be in the description uh, you're gonna go ahead and click and download and uh, I've already downloaded it but um, what we want to do is go towards our C drive and we want to create a folder so you're gonna right click new folder name it whatever you want I named mine MC so Minecraft for short and we're gonna drag all the file contents into this folder and we're gonna make a few modifications to it now I'm gonna treat this video as if someone never started a Minecraft server before. Um, so um, whenever your computer resets and you want your Minecraft server to automatically start with your computer without manually going to towards the folder and double clicking on the server to start it manually because every time you start a computer, it's just, sitting there, it's chilling until you add a startup. So we're gonna right click, create a shortcut, and we're gonna hit our Windows key and R at the same time, or you can hit the Windows key and type in run, then um, you're gonna click on run, then this will pop up. Now you wanna type in shell, then the two dots, uh, the, the colon, <laughs> I usually, uh, forget what's called then you can type in startup so we're gonna hit okay then this folder will appear so just pretend that wasn't there so let's go ahead and drag our bedrock underscore server dot exe dash shortcut here now every time that we start up our server or every time that we start up our computer it's going to start up the server with it okay so let's go ahead and edit our server properties and edit that with Notepad++, or you can edit with normal Notepad. Uh, give yourself a server name, so it says dedicated server, which you're gonna type in uh, YouTube, code actual, uh, tutorial or whatever. If you want the Minecraft to be in survival mode, leave it as survival, uh, or change it to creative or adventure. Um, so just replace this word with a, whatever you want. And the difficulty level, um, you want peaceful, easy, normal, hard. If you want cheats enabled, so basically to put yourself um, in uh, creative mode or survival by just typing in slash game mode uh, space one or zero or what have you, or add um, summon NPCs to the world. For me, I always like to have cheats enabled. Just make sure that uh, you give yourself op, which I'll show you how to do that in the console. And if you're going to give other people operator, just make sure you do it with people that you trust. How many players do you want on your server? Do you want 10? Do you want two? Do you want 100? Do you want 1,000? Um, as long as you have the system, uh, the RAM, and the CPU, and the bandwidth to allocate that, so essentially your upload speed, um, then we definitely want online mode true because we want that multiplayer. Um, it does require Xbox Live authentication, so people need to get a Xbox Live account. Um, and as for a whitelist, now, if you want all types of players to connect towards your server, then leave this how it is. If you want to set up some type of rules, only allowing your friend and another friend to join in, then you have to manually approve and whitelist players then you leave this as true, which I'll show you how to do that. But if you just want the world to be open for everybody to come through and uh, you are prone to be griefed or mob spawning griefing, if they have op, uh, et cetera, et cetera. 
So just know your boundaries. So I'm gonna put mine as true and I'll show you how to set up a whitelist. But again, if you don't want uh, want that, just leave it as false, then it's open to the world. Uh, the server port, what you wanna port forward is 19132 through 19133. So again, if you are port forwarding, um, links are in the description of how to port forward because there's different manufacturers, different uh, layouts of how to port forward because there's Netgear, Linksys, TP-Link, D-Link. Uh, there's all types of routers out there. So uh, definitely take a look in the description of how to port forward or use Google. Um, everything down here is pretty self-explanatory. I just want to go th through these basics here because those are the main importance that I care about. Um, now we're going to go ahead and hit our save button or hit control S or go to file and hit save as. Then uh, if we go to our whitelist here, it's blank. Now let me show you how to add that script in. Let's go ahead and run our bedrock underscore server dot exe. Which a console will pop up and now our server started. So you can also port forward these as well if you really wanted to, because these ports are open towards the Minecraft server. Um, but mainly these are the two basic ports that you do need to port forward. Okay, so since we have whitelisting on, uh, we need to sell, uh, add ourselves to the whitelist. And it's pretty easy. So you type in whitelist space add, then your gamer tag, which mine is Codexual. Um, if the person has spaces in their names, then it's going to be white list add space player space name, then quote. So you got to make sure the quotes are in there. Then um, there you go. That's if people have a space in their name. Now, with the whole new uh, Xbox uh, gamer tag um, hashtag system, so usually like the gamer tag is, let, let, let me. Um, there's usually a gamer tag, gamer tag, and hashtag, add some numbers in. If if, there, if you see a gamer tag like that, remove the hashtag, then just go ahead and type in whitelist, if I can spell correctly, add, then that person's gamer tag, but without the hashtag, and that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, if you want to remove the player from your whitelist, then whitelist remove, then the player's name, or again, with, if it has the space uh, in the player's name, then player name removed, then they're removed from the whitelist. Or what we could do is reload our JSON file, and uh, we can just go ahead and remove ourselves from the whitelist that way as well or add ourselves to the whitelist uh, with this script. So um, I don't like how it's, how this is organized. Because usually it's within one line. Now if I want to add myself to a whitelist, we need to add a comma after that. Copy this line. Then the person's player name. There, or um, same thing with that hashtag stuff. Don't put the hashtag, just if they have uh, that hashtag, the numbers, just make sure not to add a hashtag, then hit save, then you're good. Uh, what you need to do is just reload the, the, um, the console, which you can get all the commands located here. Uh, you can ignore this first one because this is for Linux, but this is for Windows. Um, scroll down and it'll give you all the commands that you could start executing. There's a little bit more to it. But um, anywho, let's go ahead and connect towards our server. So you go to servers, you, sc you uh, add server. I was about to say scroll down, but you add server, then you give yourself a name. You can go ahead and type in localhost for the server name. Then the address, which you want to type in 127.0.0.1. And you hit save and hit play or click on the localhost. 
So um, let me explain my scenario because my loop back system is really weird. And even after manually, um, this is what will pop up for me. For you, you'll be able to enter the world. But for me, it's a little bit odd and different because I have so many um, DNS settings changed. Even after I go towards my host file and I actually enable the uh, 127.0.0.1 localhost manually, which you are able to do that automatically in the first place, but my loopback system is really weird. So what I have to do is actually type in my IP address, my external IP address, not my internal, the 192.168 point whatever point whatever. So um, since I actually have to go to IP chicken or uh, IP chicken.com or Google, what is my IP address and actually put my IP address right here. Um, let me go ahead and do that off screen. So you guys don't actually see my IP address. This applies to me and me only not to you guys, but I'm just saying they're like, Oh, Hey, blah, blah, blah. You're connecting to, uh, a server that's not local host. Essentially it is because I'm hopping out of my network, looping back into my network. So it's hopping out of my router into my local node that's connected outside. That's connecting back into my router. Now it's thinking that I'm connecting from outside of my own server. So it's really weird. So this will take a moment to come through, but essentially um, I will pop up. And we'll just wait for that. Okay, so now that we're in, which took me a second, um, you can see that we're in the server, obviously. Uh, we want to make ourselves op. If you want to leave this as strictly a survival, then, you know, um, don't give yourself operator. But um, what's the point of that when we can cheat? So... Let's give ourselves op. So in the console, we're gonna type in op code actual. Now we have operator and it says you have been opt. So now what I can do is type in game mode, space one and fly around. And you can Google commands of how to run Minecraft commands. Um, yeah, in game that is. If you were having problems like me and try to connect in, so if the typing in your local IP address, the 127.0.0.1, uh, try typing in your internal router IP address, which it, it has assigned you. And if that doesn't work, then try your external IP address, which I did. So it goes out of your network, then comes back in your network, which is really weird of a loopback system, but... Um, if that doesn't work for you, um, then try my way of what I've did because mine is a little bit janky like that, but you should not have this problem. Um, make sure that you also right click run as administrator. If I got to mention that, um, if it doesn't work for you, but, um, a couple of things I want to talk about is the, our XUID. Now you see this will pop up in console when a player connects. So what if you want to grab that XUID if a player is not there? So this uh, here will convert, will, it will grab your X, XUID and um, so that's mine specifically. Then we can go towards our, uh, our other set here and hit convert. It'll give you this decimal value which you can see it's the same thing right here. So this is your unique identifier where you can start um, adding things to the script. So right here, it saved my XUID. So if you really need that XUID without a player connecting and you're curious to see what their XUID is and you're trying to add things towards your, white, um, your whitelist.json file, or your permissions uh, that Jason's file and that's how you grab the XUID so I hope that this video was informative uh, there's a couple more videos coming about Minecraft specifically of how to where, where did where did my Minecraft go hello okay uh, there's other videos that will show you how to get your world 
and put that as a server so you can share it. Or if you have a realms that you've uh, previously had, we can pull that world and we can put it in towards the server. So that's on a separate video. I hope that this video was informative. If it was, like, share, subscribe. Um, definitely come through on our Discord for technical support, not through my social media. Um, if you want to support me financially, hit that join button or come through on our Patreon or even PayPal. I hope you guys have a dope-ass day. Stay safe out there and have fun building. Check out Private Internet Access today. It's going to act as your digital condom because when you're sticking your things in places where they don't belong, you're going to be fucking yourself over. Now, when you visit no-no sites, like when you're looking at stuff that you're not supposed to, or you're downloading things illegally, there is no logs that is kept by PIA. Now, the U.S. Supreme Court is like, hey, uh, we need you to log all your users and we need to see if they're up to no good. And PIA is like, yo, government, we don't have logs. That's part of our policy, bro. So that gives you a extra confidence that you can download things illegally. Not I'm saying you should, but I'm just saying they don't keep logs, man. Now, if you can't afford for $10, give or take a, a month, then don't fucking click skip ad on my videos because I need that moolah. Buy PIA today. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.